my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is this Glam AF Glittery Smoky Eye. Today I took inspiration from Chelsea Makeup One on Instagram and it was this look here. Sort of a slightly winged out glitter cup crease. If you don't follow her, go and follow her. She is unreal. So yeah, so today I've gone for this sort of nice gold glitter, a bit of a smoky liner and some glam full coverage foundation doing a few different techniques at the moment testing things out and um, different things i've seen people do either on instagram or on youtube i am really happy with the results today don't forget before we dive in to subscribe to my channel so that way you never ever 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 miss an upload from me which doesn't happen very often, but I'm working on it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is just Ashley Elizabeth Makeup underscore. So, without further ado, if you'd like to learn how to achieve this look, then please stay tuned. So, I'm going to start off by priming the eye today with a mixture of the Helene Cosmetics um, Stage Shadow Primer and Max Select Cover Up. Going in first with the Helene Stage Primer. Just patting that on the lower half of the lid, sort of closer to the lash line, just to cancel out any discoloration in the eyelid. Then I'm just taking the MAC Select Cover Up in NW15 and using that to highlight the under the brow bone. I've seen quite a few artists doing this technique on Instagram and it creates it's better at creating like a brighter brow bone effect because the Helene Stage Primer can be quite dark. I'm just patting over them with my brush making sure they're blended together nicely then going in and blending off the very edges so there's no harsh lines when it comes to foundation later. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to take today is Zakaya from the Juvia's Place Magic Palette and I'm just going to use that all through my crease. So I'm just going back and forth in circular motions, just building up that colour intensity and blending it out all through the crease. So once I'm happy with the colour payoff, I'm just going in and lightly buffing over that edge so it's all blended nicely. Then I'm just starting to slightly wing that shadow out. So The look was looking a bit too orangey for me so I'm going to take that shade Nana and I'm just using that to buff through the crease again just to make sure just to make it a little bit more of a brownie tone than bright orange so I'm just packing that shadow on and then just buffing those two colours together. Next I'm going to take that shade from the Masquerade palette, I'm going to take Zulu I'm just using that to add a bit more depth to the eye and deepen up the crease a little bit So I'm just packing that shade on all through the crease on this flat brush And then just buffing off the edge and blending all those two colours together it's Still just winging it out and making sure all the shape's nice Then to deepen it up ever so slightly more, I'm going to take that deep brown shade Fellaini from the Masquerade palette and add just a final touch of depth to the outer corner and the crease, immediate crease. Now it's time to carve out the crease and I'm taking my MAC Select cover up on this brush from Urban Decay. This is my new favourite brush for cutting the crease. It's just from the Urban Decay Naked palette, I think it was, Naked One. And it's just the perfect shape for my eye for carving out the crease and I'm obsessed. So I'm taking this shape today, I don't really know what to call this shape, just a sort of cut crease but not a cut crease. And then I'm just blending off that edge in a diagonal pattern just to mimic sort of the way the, the, cut, the carving of the crease wings out as well so it all comes in together nicely. That makes sense in my head, I don't know if it makes sense to you so I do apologise but that's just the shape it is. To set the lid, I'm taking the shade Giza from the Masquerade palette, just that lovely sort of champagne-y shimmer colour. I'm just pressing that down all over the lid. Mm -hmm. 
making sure to get it right into the tail of that cut crease. I'm just going back in and buffing off the very edge so there's a nice transition between the colours. For eyeliner, I'm taking my Maybelline Gel Liner today and just on this winged liner brush from Zoeva. I'm creating quite a thick line towards the outer corner as well so it sort of goes up to meet where I've cut the crease. Just filling that all through so it's a nice thick line. Then just on that very, very outer corner where the gel liner ends, I'm just buffing off the edge using a bit of Fellaini again, that dark brown, just so the, the black and the brown blend together nicely. Then I'm going to go in and set the liner using Chad from the Juvia's Place Saharan palette, just the black shade from that palette. Now I'm going to take some NYX Glitter Glue and the Helene Cosmetics Glitter in Prosecco. I'm just going to pop that on all over the eyelid. Now I've done this after gel liner so that I don't end up with like a gritty liner which can happen if you've put your glitter on before your liner. And then I'm just going back in with the black eyeshadow chat and just buffing off any sort of glitter fallout onto the on the liner. So I've popped on some lashes and now it's time for the face. I'm going to take my Iconic London Liquid Illuminator Drops in Shine and just buff them in all over the skin just to create a nice dewy base. For foundation, I'm taking my Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is in the shade 01 Vanilla. This shade is from before Milani's shade expansion. They expanded the shade ranges of this foundation but this one is from before that so... This vanilla will be a lot darker than the new one. Next up's concealer. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair and just popping that on the under eye to brighten them up. Then I'm highlighting the centre of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin. Then just buffing those in with the same sponge that I used for my foundation. Then I'm just taking my smaller fluffy brush to blend the under eye. I haven't done the under eye shadows yet, but I'm just blending that concealer right up to the level lash line to act as a base, ready for the under eye eyeshadows. So I'm just quickly filling in the under eye, starting with the darkest shade, darkest brown shade we used on top, and then just blending those out with the lighter shade. So I'm going from darkest to light. For cream contouring, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible foundation, Stick Foundation in the shade 220 Toffee Caramel. Just popping that along the cheekbones, the jawline and the temples of the forehead. Then blending that out using this Real Techniques Contour Brush. Then I'm just setting everything in place using my RCMA No Colour Translucent Powder on the under eye. Just focusing it mainly on the under eye. I wanted to keep the skin quite dewy today. And then I'm just packing that between the eyebrows. Then I'm just baking underneath that contour line just to sharpen it up. Now it's time for bronzer. I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Tan and just bronze up the face. So just using this peaches and cream brush, I'm just in circular motions, bronzing up along the cheekbones, the temples of the head, and then along the jawline. Then for contour, I'm going to take my NYX contour palette and just taking one of the shades, can't remember which one, just adding a bit of depth to the cheekbones, so just focusing it a lot closer to the ear. And then just whatever's left on the brush, I like to run up the sides of my nose just to add a bit of, bit of dimension back to that and then just try and hide that chin. Then I'm just dusting away my bake using this Zoeva brush and softening up that, that contour line again. 
Then for highlight, I'm going to go in with an Old Fave, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in Sunburst. This is from the That Glow Glow Kit. This used to be my all-time favourite highlighter, but I've just not used it recently because I've bought new ones. But just look at that. It is a gorgeous colour. Just popping that in all the usual spots. Making sure I glow. For blush, I'm taking my MAC blush in Amber and Rose and just stippling that onto the apples of the cheeks. So finally, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. Now, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram leaving brows till last and I never knew why until now. So I'm going to go in with my chocolate dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And just doing brows last is absolutely unreal. Normally I do my brows first and then I end up with foundation in them, powder in them. I end up cutting chunks out the shape when I put on my foundation on. But just doing them last helps create a nice sharp brow. I'm just amazed with how it comes out. So I've just defined the underneath of the brow and then I'm just pushing the product up through the brow. And then through the top I'm creating more of an arch and adding that to the extended tail. And then through the front of the brow, I'm just drawing hair-like strokes, pushing upwards. Then setting those in place using the NYX Brow Gel, and this is in the shade black, but it's dark brown really. Then I'm just highlighting those inner corners with the same highlighter that I used earlier. Then for some reason I went ahead and set my face before I did my lips but I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then I'm going in with my lips. So for lip liner I'm taking my NYX liner in, I want to say Peekaboo Neutral I took. Lining the lips, I'm not being careful with it at all. Then the lipstick I'm using is the Maybelline lipstick and this is in the shade Tantalising Taupe. Then just popping on a bit of gloss on top and this is the Primark Peach Oil and this is in Peach Forever. And that is the finished look. I am so, 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 so happy with how this has turned out today. The colours have blended together beautifully. The glitter looks amazing and the liner unreal thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you all enjoyed it leave me a little comment below if you want to see any certain type of video what videos you'd like to see me do is there anything any particular look you'd like to see me give a go or a challenge or anything like that leave me a comment below with those videos thank you for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and while you're down there don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification as well so you're notified every time i make an upload thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you again soon Bye bye